All right, guys. Hey, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to check your either NOR or NAN dump, which is a dump of your BIOS, using two different methods. There's the PS3 dump checker method, which is a tool uh, that you can use. A lot of people have been using this, and it's probably the easiest and quickest way to do it. However, if you want something that might be a little bit more thorough or just to be sure, you can also check this using Python. Um, we're going to use a few files that you're going to put into your Python folder. Now, I know this works with Python uh, 2 for Windows, and you can have Python 3 installed both at the same time, but when I had Python 3 installed, it didn't work with 3. It only works with 2. So, you know, again, if you have that already installed in your system, I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's already tutorials on how to install Python onto Windows. If you have it, great. Um, if not, then you can just use the PS3 dump checker. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this. I'm assuming you already have your dump file, which we will get to that in a minute. Down in the description also, there will be a link that will show you how to get the, uh, the uh, dumped NOR or NAND from your PS3 using the latest PS3 exploit version, which as of right now is 2.0.1. So you may want to watch that video first. Once you have that uh, dumped file, then you can use this video to check it. So let's go ahead and get started right here. I'll put a link in the description to Swizzy's PS3 dump checker, which I think is actually made by Little Ballop. Anyway, you're going to come here. You're going to click on latest compiled version, and you're going to get the latest version, which as of the making of this video is... 496 which is great because it works for a uh, 484 and that's what we want so click on the exe file that's the only one you need and download it if you want to also use python or just python or if you want to use both or whatever but if you plan on using python then down in the description i will leave a link to the zip file and uh, it'll be called PS3 Dump Checker Python. There'll be a folder in there named the same thing. Just extract that folder, put it on your desktop. I also suggest that you make a folder uh, called PS3 Dump Checker. Although it doesn't have to be that, you can call it whatever you want. And then in this folder, you're going to want to put that dump checker exe file because when you run it, it'll create a few more files. That way they all stay in this folder nice and neat. I'll show you that here in a minute. All right, guys. So here we are. I put the PS3 dump checker exe file into the PS3 dump checker folder that I just created. If you followed my last video and you ended up getting the NOR or NAN dump file, it'll be called dump.hex. You can then drag that right to the top of this .exe file and it should start. I like to make a copy of it just in case and I stick it in here. So let's do that. I'm going to make a copy, put it right there. And now I'll drag it to the top of the .exe file, click run. And there we go. Now right here, you're always going to click no to patch this image. And as you can see, everything came out okay. Everything here on the left side window is green. There is no sensitive information here, so I can show you everything. Uh, it only shows stuff when you click on it. Normally, if it says bad, you have to scroll through here and you'll see the lines uh, in red where something didn't check correctly. A lot of times it's the ROS zero, one of the ROS zero lines or ROS one, and that kind of has to do with the firmware. So in that last video, I told you the proper steps to install the HFW firmware that you had to install 484 OFW first and then 484 HFW two times. So if you followed that, then this here should come out green. You should be good to go. If it's bad and it shows, you know, a line or two and you're not too sure, you can always just take an image of this here or just write down what it is, post it to the forum of the uh, version 2.0.1 exploit over like at PSX Place and see what the developers or other people tell you. Now, if you just want to be sure and you want to double check it using Python, you can do that as well. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. If you already have custom firmware and you dumped the EID root key, which is dumping your BIOS, once you have that file, um, I think that's a bin file. All you need to do is rename that bin file that you got from the Rebug Toolbox 
rename it to bkpps3.bin, which is this, <clears throat> okay? Now, technically, you should be able to actually rename it to dump.hex as well, and it should work because this will read a dump. Uh, the, it's pretty much the same file, and it'll read it as dump.hex or bkpps3.bin. Um, it'll read either one just fine. For example, if I was to actually change this dump.hex to bkpps3.bin, it will read it exactly the same way. So anyway, you can take that bin file that you got from the Rebug Toolbox, bring it in here, um, put it on top of the exe file, and then it'll give you um, the, <clears throat> the little window, hopefully in green, and it'll show everything to be okay. Now, if you want to check it via Python, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm assuming you've already installed Python into your Windows. That file that's down in the description, the zip file, I'm assuming you downloaded that and you extracted the folder. The folder that's in that zip file, I put it right here. It's called PS3 Dump Check Python. We'll open that and you see there are four files here. Now, all of them need to go into your Python folder except the dump hex instructions. Uh, .txt file, that one just has the instructions on how to do this, but honestly, I would put that into the Python folder as well, just so you have it as a reference and it's easy to find. Anyway, we're going to leave that open, and you need to go to where your Python is installed in your Windows. Usually, it installs into this, right into the root of the C drive, and here it is. Now, I think mine I renamed Python 27. Yours should be in the same location unless you changed it. So, we're going to go in there. And then you're going to take all of these files and copy them into this folder, which I've already done. Now, I already have some older hex files here. I'm going dump hex files. I'm going to delete those because they've been there for a while. Anyway, um, yeah, so you're going to take all four of these, copy them here to this folder. Now, if you plan on using this folder a lot, you might want to take that Python folder and create a shortcut to it uh, on your desktop, which I've already done right here. Anyway, uh, and we'll actually use the shortcut just so you can see it's the same thing. Anyway, now that we've done that, once you have your dump hex file from the previous video, which is the dump of your Nora NAND, you can go ahead and copy it to this Python folder. All right, and here it is right here. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna hold down the shift key and click the right button on your mouse. Okay, I gotta do it again. There we go. And you're gonna click open command window here. Now you can go to that dump hex instruction text file and you'll see here what you need to type. Or you can just copy and paste it like I'm doing here. Copy it, bring it here, right click, and let's go here, right click, and just click paste. And there we go. All right, now all you have to do is hit enter. It should hit yes, or should say yes there. And then just go through all of this. Now this one, this file is from an older PS3 that I got that I sold. So um, yeah, that way in case any critical numbers show, I'm not too worried about it because it's a, it's a system that didn't work. Um, <clears throat> all right, so anyway, once that's done, let's go ahead and close that. We can close this. And then it will generate a dump hex dot check log dot txt file. We'll open that and then you can just scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here, as you can see, this one is nice and clean. It has a zero danger, zero warning. If you get one or two warnings, that's not too bad. You can scroll up and see what they are. I'm not going to show you here because it's going to show all kinds of sensitive numbers, mainly the console ID or whatever. Um, so um, you'll see there's usually an OK next to everything, but the ones that fail, they won't say an OK. It'll say failed next to it. If you're not sure, uh, you know, whether you should continue or not, then just post it up in the forums. Usually one warning or two is OK, especially if those warnings are, again, next to the ROS1 or ROS0 uh, of file name deal, like I showed you before with the uh, PS3 dump checker. Um, this should be OK, but again, if you're not sure, then uh, post it up in the um, PS3 exploit forum. If there's at least one danger, then I would not proceed wherever that fail came up. Make sure you post that in the forum and see what they say. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. If you um, dumped your file from Rebug using the Rebug toolbox instead, 
then you'll get that file and you can rename that bin file dump.hex, put it in here and do the same steps we just did. It's the same thing. Um, or when you type in this here, oops, wrong one. When you type, when you, uh, where is it? Here we go. When you type in the instructions here in the window, instead of typing dump.hex, just put uh, bkpps3.bin in place of the dump.hex, and then it'll read that bkpps3.bin file in the same way, and it'll give you the same readout. If anything is wrong or whatever, it'll tell you in the warnings or in the dangers. And that's how it's done. That's how you check uh, your dumped file. So hopefully this was, was able to help you out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and like. Of course, it always helps out the channel. It keeps me motivated to keep doing things like this. So don't forget, guys, to stay tuned in. We are going to continue with that retro arch tutorial here in just another day or two or so. I should be putting that video out. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.